Yo, what is up everybody? It is me, WD Michael, and in today's YouTube video, we are finally returning to the seven star Terra Raid battle events that Pokemon Company has been dropping. Now, we haven't had one for a couple of weeks, and that was due to the fact that some of the previous raid battle events that we were dropped ended up kind of breaking the game. So they had to actually take those raids out, and we haven't had any new releases since that point. But finally, this week, we did get notification that obviously the problem has been fixed, and we finally have a new Terra Raid battle that we can go ahead and battle this week. And in this one, it's going to be really cool because this is one of the Firestarters' more popular Pokemon. It's been very, very popular for quite a long time. But Delphox is a really, really awesome Pokemon that we're going to be able to battle this weekend with a Fairy Terra. Now, the reason why I like this one so much is just due to the fact that I mean, the Pokemon is super, super cool. The other side of this is that a lot of times with these Terras, they have really great ways of covering a lot of their weaknesses. And this week is definitely one of those where we have a really solid Terra option with the Fairy Terra that has two really distinct weaknesses. But with the Delphox, it has a really, really good way of covering both of those weaknesses. Now you've got Steel, where the Delphox has some really awesome fire type attacks. And you also have its Poison, which would affect the Fairy but it also has a lot of psychic type moves so it really covers a lot of its weaknesses really well but there are definitely some pokemon that will be able to still get some super effective damage off of this raid boss while not being able to take a ton of damage um, due to those weaknesses so we've made about eight builds for you this week so that you can get into this terror raid battle this week and get yourself your delphox in the opening weekend with little ease so thank you all so much let's hop into this video and check out our delphox raid guides All right, so on deck, we have the Delphox 7-star raid event. So this one's going to be a lot of fun because um, with a fairy type of Pokemon, we have two really big counters that we want to talk about. That's Poison and Steel. Now, if we hop on over to Delphox's actual main, uh, it, it's typings, it is Fire and Psychic. So those are two things we need to really make sure that we keep in account for this raid battle because if you're bringing Poison Pokemon, you're going to get absolutely destroyed by its Psychic move. If you bring a steel Pokemon, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed by its fire type moves. So we really gotta make sure that these Pokemon that we're bringing still have some super effective damage they can output, while also not being able to just get absolutely wrecked by the raid boss, because that isn't gonna work either. So there are definitely some really cool ways to make sure that you're not taking any fire damage or psychic damage um, and making it so that you can still have super effective damage. And that's what a lot of our Pokemon builds are for this week are ones that have an immunity to something that they are going to take a lot of damage from, while also still being able to utilize some sort of a super effective move into the raid boss. And so that's going to be a big one this week. Um, now with Delphox itself, we do have some possible options as far as moves go. It does have a really big move pool. And with these seven star Terra raid events, they have been really good about giving these Pokemon moves that they don't normally know um, previously. So we are going to get some sort of an oddball move probably that's going to throw us off a little bit. Um, but some of the big ones that I could see that will really cause us some problems in this raid. Um, one is going to be Dazzling Gleam. It is going to be a fairy Pokemon. So it is going to have a fairy move. Dazzling Gleam is a big one. It is going to do a lot of damage. So make sure you keep your eye out for that one. Um, we do also have Psychic. It is a Psychic Pokemon. Psychic moves are going to do a ton of damage with that stab. Um, we also have Mystical Fire. Now, Mystical Fire is going to be one of those ones you're probably going to see because it really fits with Delphox. They like to add a lot of like the signature moves to the Pokemon. So we're probably going to see Mystical Fire. Um, now with mystical fire it is a fire type attack so it's gonna do a lot of damage to your steel type pokemon it also has the ability to drop your special attack down by one every time it hits so that's another thing we gotta keep an eye out for is that you know if we're starting to lose a lot of our stats from these mystical fire drops we might want to find a way to either reset stats or find a way for your pokemon to not lose stats like a clear amulet um so that's something to keep in mind the other really, really big one is going to be the Shadow Ball. Now, I know a lot of people were really like, oh, I'm going to bring Slowbro. Problem with a lot of these psychic Pokemon like Cresselia and Slowbro is that we're probably going to see, we, there's a good chance we see Shadow Ball. Um, and Shadow Ball could be a huge issue if that's the case because we might get knocked out a bunch. So keep that in mind, it does get access to Shadow Ball. Um, also on side of it, it does get access to Nasty Plot, so big special attack boost, which would be kind of crazy. Uh, we've seen in the past where it can be a big problem with Swords Dance and Nasty Plots. It does also have access to Hypnosis, so it could be knocking us out, putting us to sleep. Got to make sure we check in on that one. That one might be a little bit annoying. 
And then also Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray is another one of those ghost type moves that it does get that can confuse you and can be just a little bit problematic and annoying. Now, all of these raid builds have specifically had their, their hidden ability with them. And so Delphox's hidden ability is Magician. Now, what Magician is going to do is if Delphox does not have an item in its inventory and it hits another Pokemon, it will steal that item. So make sure we're um, not putting too much emphasis in our items on this one because you may not have it the entire raid, um, which could end up causing you a bit of a problem if that's something that you're like really, like that's really making your build what it needs to be. So keep that in mind, that might be a bit of a problem as well. Um, so some of our big raid builds that I think, at least initially when I was building this, were gonna be Hisuian Gudra, fantastic Pokemon, um, Heatran, um, gonna be one of those ones that has just it, it almost fits too perfectly with this one. I'm wondering if this is going to be one of the ones where they have something that um, will knock out a heat ran due to one of the added moves or abilities with Delphox. Um, another really cool one that I've really loved that I haven't been able to build with is Alolan Muck. And Alolan Muck has something really cool with it. It'll allow us to actually build with this one. And I was talking about the poison type Pokemon taking a lot of damage from psychic moves. Well, Alolan Muck has something else with it that's definitely going to help us out with that. Um, Slowbro, again, Slowbro might be okay. Um, I think that Galarian Slow King will probably be a little bit better now. This was actually made before I made some of the raid builds. So I, I think Slowbro might have an issue just due to the fact of Shadow Ball. If it does get Shadow Ball, Slowbro probably isn't going to be a big hit. Um, but Galarian Slow King might be a much better option for that. Um, as a huge supportive Pokemon, Blissey is always great whenever you have a special attacking Pokemon because the special defense is just absolutely insane. Um, could definitely give us a lot of support and could be another really good one for this raid. Um, and then Arcanine. So I originally had Arcanine in here, but I was looking and I think that Hisuian... I think I'm yeah, Hisuian Arcanine might be just a little bit better just due to the stats and changes that it does have. So I think that we'll actually be running with Hisuian Arcanine and we'll check out those builds next. But to start off these raid builds, let's go ahead and kick off with Hisuian Gudra. With our first raid build for this one, we are going to be dropping in with a G Hisuian Gudra, which is a fantastic Pokemon as a really, really nice special defense stat, which is definitely gonna help it out in this raid battle. Um, now, I said in the beginning that we're gonna have a bit of a problem in these raid builds, just due to the fact that Delphox is literally going to have a move to counter any one of its weaknesses as a fairy type Pokemon. So when we're looking at Pokemon, we're looking at ways to cover the weakness that we've got. So Gudra is a steel Pokemon. We're gonna definitely be worried about those fire type moves, but when we have it as a Hisuian Gudra, we actually get an extra typing, which is a dragon typing. Now, the dragon typing is going to help us out a ton because we're not going to be taking as much damage for those fire type moves. We've lost the super effectiveness, so that is huge. Definitely going to be really, really big. And on the other side of it, because it is dragon, we also have to worry about the fairy type moves. But that's where the steel type comes in. Now, the steel typing is actually going to cover the weakness or the fire type move. So we've actually cut both of those super effective moves down to a just a normal damage, which is fantastic because now we have this big bulky special defense of Pokemon who also knows steel type moves that are gonna give us a super effective damage into this raid boss. So that is just, I mean, it's you, those are the, one of those things where it just, it fits perfectly with the raid boss. And it's definitely gonna be one of those ones where I think is gonna be an absolute champion in this particular raid. Um, so now with its actual move set, I think Rain Dance is going to be really good. It's not going to have, I don't really think this is going to have one of those where we have, you know, four or five other moves that you could possibly use. This is really going to be one of those ones where I think there is probably only four to five moves that you may end up using in this raid. Um, Rain Dance is going to be good. That way you can drop the uh, damage from the fire type moves and just kind of overall help your team. Um, Acid Spray, get those special defense drops because you're going to be doing a lot of special defense uh, damage to this boss, so it's always great. Definitely love when you can drop the special defense down by two anytime. Uh, Flash Cannon is going to be our big damaging move with our Steel Gudra and a Steel Terra type, so that will definitely help out a ton. Massive damage. And then on top of it, we also have Life Dew. Gudra is one of those Pokemon that does get Life Dew. Life Dew is really, really good in raids just due to the fact that it's another free team heal. Um, which can definitely help keep some of your cheers from getting absolutely obliterated in the first couple of minutes of these seven star raid battles. So um, yeah, I really think that Gudra is going to be one of those top tier Pokemons. It feels like it just fits really well. It's not going to take a lot of damage and it's got the stats to really put it in a top tier position. So great Pokemon. I love this one. I'll definitely be rolling this one on my Twitch stream tonight. Um, but let's go ahead and hop into the next one, which I believe will be another just dominating Pokemon for this raid battle. And that is going to be Heat Ram. And here we have our Lava Dome Pokemon, the Heatran, the beast of the lava. So Heatran is gonna be one of those Pokemon, again, where we have to find a way 
to cover one of our weaknesses so that we can still get super effective damage. Now, Heat Ran comes into this battle with a Steel Typing that's going to give us that Steel Type damage and super effective damage through moves like Steel Beam, which is crazy big damage. We have Taunt to possibly stop a lot of the non-damaging moves that Delphox is probably going to end up having. We also have Flash Cannon, which has, you know, it's a 100% accuracy move, gives you that confirmed always going to hit kind of big damage. And then we also have Metal Sound, so you can drop this special defense down, which is huge. So... In order to cover this steel weakness and steel super effective damage that we want to have with the Heat Ran, we need to cover for the fire damage that's going to be coming from our Delphox. Now, Heat Ran has the perfect ability for that, and where it has Flash Fire. Now, Flash Fire is basically going to make it so you are immune to fire type moves, so you can cut that off your weakness completely. Um, also, what it's going to do is it's going to actually boost your moves, your fire type moves when you've actually gone through that. So it's just, it's one of those things where it really just covers your weakness so that when I do want to steal Terra my Heat Ran, I'm still not going to take any of those fire type damages when I'm stuck down to one singular typing. So Heat Ran is probably going to be one of just the top tier, biggest attacking Pokemon you're going to see during this raid battle event. So um, any chance you can get to drop special defense and or boost any sort of metal damage you can, uh, this is going to be one of those ones I think is going to actually crush this one out of the park. Um, you've got a couple of different options for items. You've got the metal uh, metal armor or metal coat. You've also got shell bell and then also wide lens. So if you want to drop wide lens, the reason being is because metal sound is not 100% accurate. And that way you have a chance of not missing this type of move. So um, just another fantastic build. I definitely love Heat Rain. It will be a top, top tier Pokemon on this one. So I highly suggest you bring this one if you are struggling or just need a raid build for this one. Um, I think this will probably be the easiest one for everybody. Um, so we've gotten through Gujar and Heat Ran. Let's hop into our big, I believe, just biggest supporter Pokemon for this raid. And let's hop into a Blissey build. So we've got our big, big supporter Pokemon for this raid. It has no damaging moves, but it has everything you need to support your teammates for this raid. Now, Blissey is known to be one of the bulkiest Pokemon, specifically in a special defensive stat. So it can take some really big special defense or special attack moves and really kind of laugh at them because it has a huge health pool and a big chunk of special defense. Now, the problem we run into is that it has almost zero defense. So for some reason, this Delphox gets an attacking move. Just be careful because it could cause a little bit of problems. Um, now, Blissey has a really awesome ability called Healer. So it has a chance of healing your, uh, your Pokemon's um, damages or any sort of status effects. So if we're getting any sort of, you know, burns, infuses, whatever it may end up being from this Delphox, your Blissey's actually be able to help with that. So that's pretty awesome right there. Um, as far as for its moves go, that's going to help you out with this one. I really think that Life Screen, Life Dew, Helping Hand, and Thunder Wave are going to be your core four moves for Blissey during this raid. Life Screen is going to protect you from a lot of the damage from your raid. Life Dew is a great heal move that you get to spread to your team. Helping Hand, you got to make sure that you are helping your biggest damage dealer do as much damage as they can. And also Thunder Wave gives you a way to kind of hopefully get some paralysis off on the raid boss, which anytime you don't want to take damage from the raid boss is an absolute win during these. So... Um, really, really cool moves. I think this one's gonna be really good. Um, if you want to try some other things, I think soft boiled might be good if you want to get your own uh, personal recovery, as well as rain dance. Rain dance gonna be one of those ones where if if you have it on your team, it's probably not gonna be terrible just because you're gonna have a lot of the fire type damage from Delphox. So another big special uh, or another supported Pokemon that I think will do really, really well in this raid. And uh, yeah, so if you like supporting Pokemon, you want to be that kind of healer in the, your raid, this is the one for you. Now that we've gone through our three kind of big top, like what I think are gonna be the most common raid builds that we're gonna see, let's hop into my absolute favorite raid build from this one, and that's going to be a Lolan Muck. All right, so here we are at one of my absolute favorite Pokemon in the history of Pokemon, and that is Muck. I love Muck, he's always been a top tier Pokemon for me, and now I get the opportunity to use it in a raid build, and I am so excited. So we were talking about how you have to cover for your weaknesses in, um, and, and your super effective damages. So with our steel type Pokemon, a lot of those were either by having a dragon typing or by having the ability called flash fire. You were able to cover for your, your uh, fire type weakness. Now, Muck is on the other spectrum of that. Now we've got the poison type damage that's gonna be super effective into the fairy uh, Delphox, but now we have to worry about all the psychic damage that's gonna be coming back to us and psychic being super effective in a poison is going to be a huge issue. So what is one way that we can get out of taking psychic type damage? Well, there's one actual typing that is completely immune to psychic types, and that is dark type Pokemon. So 
Alolan Muck is actually a poison and dark type. So you're automatically covering your weakness right there. Meaning the Alola Muck is already on my top of my list for one of the, probably the better Pokemon for this raid just due to that fact. Now, Alola Muck, is, Alola Muck is a beast of a Pokemon. It is more of a attacking heavy Pokemon rather than a special attacking Pokemon. But if you really wanted to, the stats aren't that far off where you could probably still do a special attacking Alola Muck with moves like Venoshock, Toxic, and Sludge Bomb. What I want to do this one is I want to do the attack heavy one. I think that going with Poison Touch is your ability and Adamant Nature and Shell Bell and you pair that with moves like Poison Jab and Gunk Shot, then you're gonna get some really nice damage out on this Delphox because Delphox doesn't have a high defense compared to its special defense. So this will give us another way to kind of uh, take advantage of the weaknesses of our raid boss. So I think that'll be really cool. I think this is gonna be one of my, just probably the raid build that I take the most just because I love Muck. Um, and I think this is gonna do really, really well in this raid. Um, so yeah, Muck. And then also, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm almost missed. There are other two abilities that it does, or moves that it's going to get, they're going to help you out a lot. It gets Screech. So you're going to be able to actually drop the uh, defense of the Delphox down even further. And then Snarl. So you can actually drop the special attack of the Delphox down as well. So it's got some really good utility for a raid while also having just like the perfect typings that you would need for this kind of raid. So um, yeah, I think it's really awesome. It's still one of those ones where we have the wide lens where in case you don't want to be missing your Screeches, you get a little bit of an accuracy boost as well. So... Uh, just keep that in mind. Muck, fantastic Pokemon. I think it's going to be great. I am so excited. Uh, but now that we're done with Muck, let's hop into our next one, which will be a Galarian Slowking team. So let's hop into it. And here we are with another one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. I love Slowpoke and all of its evolutions. In this one, we're going to test out a Galar Slowking. Now, Galar Slowking, just please mind me, may not be the best option for this raid. But I think depending on what we end up getting for its moves from the Delphox that this Pokemon could be pretty decent. So um, with Galar Slowking, one of the things that we have is that it's ability own tempo. Now I said earlier in the video that Delphox might get Confuse Ray. If it does get Confuse Ray, then Galar Slowking with own tempo could be a really, really good benefit for these raid battles because you're not gonna get confused. Um, so that would be a really, really awesome one. Um, other than the fact that it also is another one of those poison dark type Pokemon. So, we're not gonna have to worry about all of those uh, psychic type moves hitting our poison type Pokemon and killing it. We're actually gonna be able to cover for that with a dark typing and be able to live through a bunch of that stuff. So super, super awesome with that one. I love that we got that. Um, Modest Nature, we've got Calm Mind, Sludge Bomb, Acid Spray, and Snarl. So another one of those ones that got the damaging type moves that it needs to while also having a lot of really good uh, coverage moves to help you do what you need to. So Calm Mind, boost your special attack while also boosting your special defense. Great for this raid. Slug Bomb, massive damage type move. It's gonna do great for this one. Acid Spray is gonna drop your special defense of the raid boss down. And it's also a stab type move, fantastic. We've also got Snarl, so we're able to drop the special attack of the raid boss. So we've kind of covered all of our bases on that point. Now, if you wanna try some other things differently, this one has some other options that you can definitely run. We've got Light Screen nasty plot and slack off so there's definitely some ways where you can change how you want to boost your special attack keep giving yourself some health regen from slack off or just overall help your team with a light screen so another really great pokemon i think this is going to do a, a really solid number in this one and uh yeah i'm excited to see it because i haven't actually been able to see this one pop off a lot in the uh in the raid battles yet so this will be i think finally one of the times we're gonna be able to see it and uh let it do its thing so galar slow king now that we've gone through that one, let's hop into our next video, which is our next build, which is going to be the Hisuian Arcanine. I feel like we've been talking about a ton of the Hisui Pokemon, but man, they're actually really, really good. And a lot of them fit really well with this raid. So another one that we've got is the Arcanine from Hisui. The, uh, I, I was really debating in between the regular Arcanine and Hisuian Arcanine, but I think that the Hisuian Arcanine will have a little bit better of an effect just because it has a slightly higher attack stat. And um, yeah, that's really, I think, kind of the only reason. So I think Hisui Arcanine is gonna be really, really good. Again, it's one of those Pokemon where we're able to cover for our weakness on the um, on the Steel type, kind of, because we wanna go Steel Terra because we have actually access to Iron Head. But when we do Steel Terra, we don't wanna, you know, knock ourselves out. So the ability for us to um, cover for that fire weakness with Flash Fire will be absolutely huge. Um, so that'll definitely help out with that one and give us as much damage as possible. Now, we do have some other options for this one. So I think with the Hisuian Arcanine, it's going to be kind of a mix all arounder kind of a build because you do get access to Howl, which will boost all the attacks out of your Pokemon on your field by plus one. So if you're in a really attack heavy group, this will be a really good one to bring. 
Um, Helping Hand, another great move that you can use to kind of boost one of your really big damage dealing Pokemon. Snarl, as we talked before, is just fantastic. You can drop the special attack of the um, of the Delphox. And then we've also got Iron Head. Now this move uh, just obviously gonna be super effective. And if we can get our tear off, we'll be able to do some pretty solid damage into this Delphox raid boss. So um, another just another fantastic raid build that I think is gonna work really well just due to the fact that we have another way to get an immunity to the raid boss's damages. And that's, I mean, that's one of the biggest things. Anytime you get an immunity to one of their damaging moves, it, it's a huge, huge thing to look for when you're building for these raids. So, um, and if you're looking for some other possible options, for uh, moves that you want to run, Morning Sun could be good if the Delphox gets Sunny Day. Uh, could give you a lot of recovery during this raid. And then Psychic Fanes. Now, if for some reason this Delphox has thrown out screens, you're going to have a way of actually deleting those screens. So could be something to keep in mind if you end up building it and we find out later on that this one is just dropping a bunch of screens and making everybody's life really difficult. So um, yeah, absolutely. I love this one. I think Kitsui and Arcanine is going to be fantastic. It may not be one of the strongest Pokemon for this raid, or the strongest supporter, but I think it's going to do really well and be able to help you out in your team, especially if you're an attack heavy raid group. Now for our next build, I want to talk about another Pokemon very similar to this one. Um, not going to be probably the strongest Pokemon, but it's going to be definitely going to be something that's going to be really usable. And that's going to be Serilich. And here we are with another one of our Pokemon that's going to be really similar to the Hisui and Arcanine. It's not going to be using its stab type moving right off the bat with Iron Head. But we are going to be able to steel Terra this one into a steel Terra Sarah Ledge. So we're going to be able to utilize that. But we're not going to have to worry about taking a bunch of damage for the fire type moves because it's another one of those Pokemon with flash fire. So we're not going to have to worry about that. Um, with some of the other ones, we did have flash fire, but we didn't have any fire type moves that we we're going to actually be able to utilize. So with flash fire, your special, your fire type moves are boosted by 1.5 every time you're hit. So with Sarah Ledge, we actually have one of its best moves in Bitter Blade being a fire type move that's going to actually give you some recovery in this raid. And you're going to be able to boost it with your flash fire. So that's actually going to be one of the better, I guess you could say almost like flash fire combos in the actual raid group is because you're actually going to be able to utilize your fire type moves. Um, so that's going to be really cool. I think Sarah Ledge with uh, Swords Dance and Taunt is going to be another one of those powerhouse Pokemon that we're still going to be able to utilize and uh, get some really good damage out of. Iron Head, and then it's also got uh, a couple of other good moves that you can use for your raid group in Helping Hand. If you feel like you're being kind of more of a supportive Pokemon, which is totally fine, you can go with Helping Hand as well as Light Screen, which are two really great moves as well. Uh, yeah, so Sarah Ledge was one of those ones where I think it's going to work. I said, I think it's going to work, but I don't think it's going to be as strong as some of the other Pokemon that we built previously, like the Heat Ran or the Gudra. But definitely something usable. Like you're going to be able to use it. You're probably going to struggle a little bit, but I think you'll be able to get through this raid without an issue. Um, and so for our final raid build, I want to hop in. I found this one late as I was building up my raid builds and I, I found it and I was like, all right, you know what? This Pokemon might actually do really, really well as well. One, it's a legendary Pokemon and two, it's got the same type of typings as our Hisuian Gudra. So let's talk about Dialga. All right, so Dialga is going to be another one of those dragon steel type Pokemon. We're going to cover for our steel type weakness with our dragon typing and we're going to cover for our dragon type weakness with our steel typing. So it's a really good one that it matches really well, especially in this raid in particular. Um, Dialga is also a legendary Pokemon, so it has a massive stat pool um, and a lot of it is in its special defense and special attack. So it should be really good, really well suited for this particular raid. Now, Dialga gets the really some really awesome moves that are going to be helpful for this one. I think with Rain Dance, um, Rain Dance is going to obviously be helpful because you're dropping fire type moves. Thunder Wave is always great. I always love when you're able to get a free move or a free turn when the raid boss doesn't attack you because it's paralyzed. I feel like paralysis, paralyzation is one of the best kind of status effects in raid, ba raid battles if you're going to have to use it. And unfortunately, Dialga is one of those Pokemon where we are kind of don't really have a ton of options. We don't have six, seven, eight, nine moves that we can pick from that will all possibly work. You really only have four moves. And outside of that, there really isn't going to be anything else that's going to help you in this raid. So um, Thunder Wave, it'll be helpful. It's not the best move, but it's definitely better than nothing. Um, Flash Cannon is going to be your very, uh, your consistent damage. The one that's going to help you boost up and get your uh, terror ready. And then if you ever have the opportunity where, you know, the boss has got a bunch of special defense drops, or he's getting lower, you know, a nice steel beam can really just absolutely crush it from uh, sometimes maybe even full to, you know, anywhere from half. So uh, this can be another one of those really big powerhouse Pokemon that will be a massive, massive help in this raid battle. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. Dalga wasn't one of the ones that I initially thought of because I was so stuck on Hisui and Gudra. But now after I've taken a look at it, I think, I think you'll definitely have a good time with it. Um, but yeah, that will round out our eight Pokemon raid builds for the fairy type 
Del Fox raid guide video. Thank you all so much for hopping into my YouTube video and checking out all the builds that I have created for the seven star terror raid battle event featuring Del Fox this weekend. I hope you have a fantastic time using these builds. And they make it that much easier for you to actually catch your Del Fox on the opening weekend. Now, if you want some help with this Del Fox raid, make sure you hop on over to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash wdmichael tonight after 9 p.m. CST because I will be live helping out viewers defeat this raid. Make sure that you get it with ease on your opening weekend. Now, if you like this kind of content, you like seeing raid builds, and you want to continue seeing more of them or other Pokemon content for that instance, make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell so you get notified when I drop more videos just like this one or other Twitch highlights from my Twitch channel. Again, thank you all so much. I cannot stress enough how amazing this is to be getting all of the love from you guys over the last couple of weeks with all the YouTube videos. It's been fantastic, and I really, really cannot thank you enough. I hope you have a fantastic day out in Paldea Trainers, and I will catch you tonight for the Delphox Raid. Peace!